Alright, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Mom's Goose Gaming, and we are back to Black Ops Cold War. Yes, you heard that right. We are back to Black Ops Cold War because we got a surprise content drop for year two. Well, technically, it's not so much of a surprise, but we'll get to that a bit later on. If you guys are excited for some new Black Ops Cold War content, then make sure to see for the like button. Also, we are on the road to 1k subscribers. If you guys like what you see, make sure to subscribe and let's reach that goal together. Yesterday, Chuck ended up tweeting saying, Surprise, we've got new content dropping tomorrow in Black Ops Cold War, which means today. WMD multiplayer map, of course, a remote master from black ops 1 we also saw it back in black ops 4 as well and now it is back in black ops cold war however there is a catch but we'll talk about that in a second we also got the release of the valgo 52 assault rifle and multiplayer and zombies and finally they also released a new bundle the tracer pack fairy fury reactive mastercraft bundle which is for the Vargo 52 Assault Rifle. When it comes to the new Assault Rifle and the Tracer Pack bundle, they are both available in-game. However, the new map WMD, unfortunately, it got delayed. Treyarch ended up tweeting saying, we'll need to delay the release of the WMD map until a further update. Thank you for your patience and stay tuned for more info. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was very excited to get in, check out WMD and see how it plays. Is it the same as it was in Black Ops 1? Unfortunately, that got delayed. We'll just have to wait a tiny bit longer for that, but let's check out the weapon in-game. All right, everybody, here we are in Black Ops Cold War and here is the new Vargo 52 assault rifle. I'm not gonna lie, it looks quite cool if I say so myself. However, of course, there are challenges that you need to do in order to unlock this weapon. You can do it in multiplayer and zombies. When it comes to multiplayer, you have to use an assault rifle and deal 1000 damage in 15 different completed matches. If this challenge sounds familiar, it should because a couple weeks back, I made a video talking about how you can unlock this weapon before it was even available in Black Ops Cold War. There was a glitch that allowed you to do this exact same challenge in Modern Warfare. You could unlock this weapon and then use it in Black Ops Cold War as if it was already out however you no longer need to do it in modern warfare 2019 because now like you're seeing it is available in black ops cold war when it comes to zombies you have to eliminate 750 enemies while using an assault rifle that has been pack punched three times okay both challenges are actually quite easy they don't require too much for multiplayer all you have to do is get about 14 to 15 kills and you will guarantee that 1000 damage you have to do that in 15 different completed matches and for zombies simply pack a punch your assault rifle three times get 750 eliminations and it's as easy as that when it comes to the new fairy fury bundle it will cost you 2000 cut points and you will get 8 items first of all you have the ferro fluid assault rifle which is the new vargo 52 assault rifle and it is a reactive mastercraft which means it will have 4 stages that it will transform into now it is quite hard to see it through this screen right here but don't worry I will show you right there there it goes there is the first stage that's the second that's the third and finally that's the fourth stage I'm not gonna lie to you guys this looks absolutely awesome with the purple spikes coming out it looks absolutely absolutely amazing but you also get an LMG right here which looks quite cool as well it has that dark matter camera to it you know without even unlocking it that's the vibe that i'm getting alongside those two weapon blueprints we'll get another one this time for a submachine gun now correct me if i'm wrong but i believe this is a ppsh 41 again it has the same dark matter cam with spikes coming out looks quite cool and then the bundle is rounded out with your usual stuff like reticles stickers charms con cards and all that stuff as well i'm not gonna lie this bundle looks quite cool i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was very very excited to showcase the wmd map to you guys however since that has been delayed and i don't have the weapon unlocked yet but don't worry i will unlock it and give you guys a video on it tell you guys if it is overpowered or not but until then let's see what the blog says about the new weapon and the new map let's start off with the wmd map first they say intel suggests perseus operations are spinning up at a lost weapons facility in the mountains first introduced to players in the original Call of Duty Black Ops, WMD is a large multiplayer map featuring a multitude of power positions throughout its interior and exterior spaces. Expect a lot of action around the central production facility and bring backup when navigating the treacherous road. Climb just about anything and everything to get most out of this map as vertical is the name of the game here. Okay. For the general layout of the map, at match start, teams spawn on the left and the right hand sides of the map, with the left giving immediate access to the crane and research power positions and the right side giving immediate access access to the silo, shipment and production. The top and bottom paths are equally accessible to both teams. Okay, that sounds really really exciting, I cannot wait for the map to officially release sometime soon hopefully and I'll showcase it to you guys in a video. Now let's move on to the new assault rifle Vargo 52, let's see what they say about it. The Vargo 52 is one mean weapon and it's particularly effective where versatile equipment reigns and in zombies it can be one of the most devastating assault rifles in the game with the right suit of attachments. They describe it as a full auto assault rifle with good damage at mid range with fast fire rate, improved muzzle velocity and reliable handling for steady fire and control. Okay, that sounds really promising and also sounds like it's gonna be an overpowered weapon. Like I said, I was really really excited to get in, check out and showcase the new WMD map to you guys. Unfortunately, that got delayed until a later update and also I was excited to show you guys the weapon but I have to unlock it first. Should be coming out in about a day or two's time so stay tuned for that as well. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to see for the like button. For everything Call of Duty, make sure subscribe turn on notification bell and join notification squad and i'll catch you guys later